focus of my talk today is uh, innovation in cinema and uh, cinema as an artistic and scientific discipline. So um, when we talk about cinema, what do we understand? Uh, is it um, art? Um, is it entertainment? Or um, is it something more than these usual definitions? So let's think about these questions as we uh, move along. And uh, let's think about uh, the most uh, popular form of cinema that we all are aware of, which is uh, uh, entertainment. So we all understand that cinema is uh, a form of entertainment. And uh, conventional cinema is about uh, blockbuster movies, musicals, and it's also about the love stories you're all very familiar with. So these films are called narrative films, and they usually have a structure, a very, very fixed structure, which is about a beginning, a middle, and an end, and you have a dramatic uh, twist somewhere in the middle which leads to a resolution. So these are the narrative films. So uh, unfortunately, in the narrative films, there's very little room for innovations because um, the narrative films are about uh, generating money for a mass market, and uh, they are very predetermined and they have predictable plots. So coming to the other kind of cinema, when I talk about the other kind of cinema, I'm talking, talking about the artistic and the uh, experimental kind of cinema. And uh, here, the directors usually have a lot of new ideas which they want to convey to the audiences. And they play with new styles, new formats, and even new language of cinema, sometimes reinventing the whole language of cinema uh, to bring um, uh, uh, cinematic uh, um, uh, you know, evolution into the context of uh, you know, uh, filmmaking. So unfortunately, these films are viewed as uh, very dull, very difficult to understand, or uh, you know, they're not even available in the uh, mainstream market. So uh, the whole point when we're talking about uh, um, experimental cinema is how do we get these films into the public domain? How do we educate the audiences? How do we create awareness about these films uh, uh, in, a, in a public domain? So when I talk about innovation, innovation in cinema, are we talking about high-end special effects? Are we talking about cutting-edge technology? Or are we talking about innovation in ideas? innovation and craft of cinema? Let's, let's think about these questions. In the history of cinema, there have been some uh, phenomenal visionary directors. And uh, I would say they were pioneers of cinema. They actually uh, reinvented the whole language of cinema. And uh, they did a lot of experimentation uh, with uh, the music, sound, uh, images, uh, the whole technique, the craft of cinema, and they brought new ideas uh, into filmmaking. So uh, these directors, uh, there are quite a few of them, uh, unfortunately are not very well known to the audiences. Uh, you know, they are not, audiences are not very familiar with these uh, directors. And the kind of cinema that we are talking about, uh, when we talk about these directors, uh, there are so many types of cinema that came out uh, with these directors, the visionary directors. Uh, uh, cinema as a dream narrative. Cinema where uh, you are not just having a narrative, linear, non-linear narratives where uh, you don't have a strict uh, plot. You're talking about the subconscious, you're talking about dreams, you're talking about pushing reality, you're talking about other dimensions. Now this is also uh, the kind of cinema uh, which came with these uh, visionary group of directors. So moving ahead, uh, when, we, when we think of the artistic movements in cinema, uh, there have been in the 1920s, 1920s, if you were to look into the 1920s, there were the surrealists, uh, the Dadais. They came with uh, very, very stylized, shocking images. Uh, there was no strict story, but there were a lot of images and uh, they were structured in ways in which to uh, probably um, make the audiences think, you know. So you don't have uh, films where you are being spoon-fed. You have films which make you think, which allow the audiences to go beyond themselves, you know. Uh, you are uh, given a space to think for yourselves. What is it the director trying to communicate? 
Is there a deeper meaning to these images? So this was, um, you know, happening in the artistic movements in cinema, 1920s. And you come to 1950s, you have the French New Wave. And some of the French New Wave directors, like Jean-Luc Godard, François Truffaut, Alain René, these directors, they worked within very limited budgets. They worked with portable equipment. They worked with minimal <clears throat> standards of uh, film equipment. And they created some phenomenal films. And they played with the editing. They played with the sound design. They played with uh, a whole lot of things uh, associated with cinema to create uh, some fantastic films. I'd like to quote Jean-Luc Godard here. A story can have a beginning, middle, and an end, but not necessarily in that order. So, uh, very interesting. Very, very interesting when you think about it. So, it's how you play with uh, the whole medium of cinema. So, when we think of uh, these visionary directors, because innovation for me is about the vision of the director, the craft of the director. And craft includes uh, a whole lot of things. It's the science of filmmaking, it's the technique, it's the philosophy, it's the ideas. And what are the new ideas that are being brought into the public domain uh, with the vision of the director? So, uh, when we think of our own masters, let's think about Satyajit Ray. 1950s, a phenomenon emerged in India called Satyajit Ray. Very few in India probably are aware that Satyajit Ray's script of The Alien was uh, circulating in Hollywood for a very long time and eventually got made into the E.T. by Spielberg. So here was Ray, a genius a filmmaker, and he was not just making dull social realism. He was making films which were science fiction, which were fantasy, you know, which were detective fiction. But not very, very many Indians are probably aware of what Ray was doing during that time. So, it's very important to bring this dialogue into our context when we talk about innovation in cinema today. Because we have gone miles ahead in making movies, but um, it's not just the technique, it's not just using the technology. It's how you get these ideas, the new ideas to build some beautiful films, special films, which are communicating something different something different to the audiences. And the audiences would move probably uh, 20 years in time, you know, our future generations. We need to leave something unique, something innovative for these uh, people to look back and say, hey, look, these films were phenomenal. You know, it's not just your, you know, regular <laughs> soap operas. It's not just your musicals. But you have these uh, inventive ideas which are coming from these phenomenal filmmakers. And this is innovation. This is innovation. So I can take further examples. When you talk, when you talk about uh, Russian cinema, you have masters like Andrei Tarkovsky. And uh, Tarkovsky influenced a whole generation of Hollywood filmmakers. His movies, The Mirror, Solaris, have inspired people like Christopher Nolan. And you take Akira Kurosawa, Kurosawa's Rashomon, which is a film with three different perspectives of different characters. And uh, the film moves through multiple perspectives of the same uh, crime. A crime is committed and there are multiple versions of the truth. Rashomon was a phenomenon in the 1950s. And this film and Akira Kurosawa's films have been used in the West. Uh, Sergio Leone making Fistful of Dollars, for instance. So, amazing number of examples when you think about Japanese filmmakers, Russian cinema, even our very own Ray, Satyajit Ray. You know, such a phenomenon. So, um, I have grown up on uh, Hollywood cinema. You know, I grew up watching a lot of Hollywood movies. I loved Ray. Uh, Ray happened to me when I was just in my 12th. And I watched a lot of Ray's movies. Pothar Panchali, Apu Trilogy. And I was like, uh, was, what is this whole thing about? You know, as I grew older, I realized these films have such a deep impression on me. And today when I stand and speak here, for me, filmmaking is about this artistic vision, what Ray was doing, what Kurosawa was doing, what Fellini was doing, for instance. I made my film Ballad of Rustam. Now, Ballad of Rustam was in the Oscar contention in 2014. It was a film which was made with finances which I raised independently, uh, my own personal money. It was a film made over four years. And this film uh, does not have a regular narrative. 
It's about an amateur scientist in a small town in India. And it's about this dreamer. It's about the scientist, his dreams, his visions, his ideas, you know, as he moves in this small town from place to place and the kind of people that he meets. And we shot this film on film negative, 35mm classic film negative. It was not digital. And we have a beautiful music score. And uh, there were a unit of 100 of us working in a small remote township in India, shooting this film for four months. And I didn't want to actually go and make regular kind of films that are available in the market. I wanted to create something beautiful, something special, something I would say, OK, if you were to use the word innovative, yes innovative films in the Indian context. And I'm very happy that the Ballad of Rustam has been receiving acclaim. And I wish that when we market this film in India, it would also be innovative. And I want the audiences to watch these kind of movies because you are the next generation. You guys are going to actually watch these films and actually create a breakthrough. So there should be a dialogue between filmmakers such as me and the audiences such as you. And this is what I think is the very beginning of innovation in cinema. So this, I would say, in conclusion, is the, the whole journey for me. Innovating and introduce more and more of these kind of films with artistic vision. Get more and more filmmakers with artistic vision, their whole ideas, into the public domain. Ничего. Успокойся, ничего. Все будет хорошо. Вот я и взлетела. Что с тобой, Маруся? Тебе плохо? Не удивляйся. Это так понятно. Я люблю тебя. सारी बकरियां नजर आ रही हैं। आगे की कौन सोचता है? मैं तो आज का पंची हूँ। जिंदगी में किसी ने किसी चीज से प्यार होना ही चाहिए।
that was uh, uh, the whole video that we had. And uh, amazing films there. Tarkovsky, uh, Kursawa, Satyajit Ray, and uh, yeah, a short trailer of my own film. So um, uh, this is where we were shooting. This is my location. Uh, I was shooting this film on 35 millimeter film. And my camera unit and me, uh, we were like 100 of us. And uh, we shot in very difficult locations. Um, uh, we were like shooting for like four months and through uh, all kinds of weather. And uh, we had a lot of fun while we were making this film because we all loved making this movie. And uh, uh, well, I think the journey has been great. And uh, I hope uh, you guys can see this film uh, in the theaters in India. Thank you so much. I, I loved talking today. Thank you so much. Bye.